it's Dave and Dom. We're going to uh, meet one of Dave's dogs now that we've seen in lots of videos and lots of Dave's friends that have seen him do demonstrations with over the years. Dave, tell us about Hamish. Well, this is Hamish, and Hamish is possibly a uh, Bedlington Whippet, possibly with a bit of Patterdale in there, I'm told, and he's about 10 years old. We don't know for sure. Hamish came from Bryson Animal Sanctuary, which is up near the Angel of the North, up in the Sunderland area. Um, my Labrador had uh, retired from drugs work in the police service and I needed a new dog and it was decided to give Hamish a go. Um, they had him in the rescue centre, I would given to understand he'd been out to a few homes but because of his uh, bouncy character shall we say he hadn't fitted in and although he's totally out of character for a police service dog it was decided we would give him a go and I've never looked back. He went on to become narcotics, currency detection and firearms detection. I finished with Durham Constabulary in 2009. My dogs, as uh, all my dogs have done, uh, retired with me. And um, he's gone on to work with me with my dog training business. He's been on television, he was on K999 Dog Detectives. Um, he's uh, worked with a company called the Forensic Academy, going into schools, entertaining children. and. Um, he does pretty much everything, really. He's a, he's a really great little dog, and he everybody is, likes really him. What was the what, what was the moment that you knew he was going to be suitable for what you wanted with the police? Virtually immediately, when shown a tennis ball, his desire to get this tennis ball was second to none. And if your dog will has that kind of desire for a particular resource, then it's a trainable dog. Um, and so all that was left was really to make sure that uh, he's, you know, take him out, do some social referencing with him, see how he behaved amongst people, amongst traffic, in different environments, and he was absolutely bomb-proof, because I'm given to understand he'd spent quite a bit of his time, um, I don't quite think he'd been a street dog, but certainly quite a bit of his time was on the streets of Horton in northeast Durham. Wow. So he's, you know, pretty well bomb-proof, to be quite honest. And a great example of um, what's out there, it in the, in the kennels, in the exactly. to, 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 adopted dogs. Exactly, there are rescue dogs clamouring from home, for homes, for new homes, for forever homes, all over the country. And people are passing them by to buy um, dogs from breeders. Now, you know, I don't have a problem with that if somebody wants to get uh, a pedigree dog for some reason, but there's some wonderful dogs out there that just need a little bit of time and a little bit of love and they can be perfect companions in a, in a pet dog world. Bear in mind, yes, he was in the police service with me, but now he lives as any other pet dog lives, with me, helping me with my business. Very good, very good. Well done, Hamish.